Welcome back everybody. It's that time of week again and I've been craving brownies and my roommate has been silently pressuring me but we won't talk about that. So today we're going to make bourbon salted caramel fudge brownies. Now that's what I'm talking about. So let's get started. All right. So now we're gonna start off with putting our sugar in our pot. We wanna make sure it's nice and even all across so then it would, when it begins to melt, it does so evenly. And then we're just going to, as the bottom starts to melt on the sugar, mix it up a little bit so that all of the sugar can start to um, touch the bottom and melt. And as you can see, we're just gonna continue to mix as it melts. It's starting to turn a little of a golden color, which is good. And then we're just going to continue on with that until all of the sugar melts. And it's okay that you have some chunks in there because eventually it's all going to go away. And then as it continues to heat, it starts to turn a nice golden kind of brown ambery color. And that's what we're looking for. As all of this starts to melt, the deeper you go, the more flavor you get. But be careful not to burn it. Now there's two methods to making caramel, both wet and dry. Wet is my mortal enemy, so we're doing the dry method, which is just putting the sugar directly on the heat and melting it until it gets to our desired color. So now, we are going to begin to add our cream. I've warmed it up in the microwave just to make sure it's not too cold. And we're gonna temper it just a little bit. Be careful, do not burn yourself, it will bubble up. It was a little scary, thought I killed my roommate, but she's fine no people were harmed in making this video and so we added the rest of the cream and then as we continue to mix that in there we're going to start adding the rest of our ingredients we have our butter in here we want to get that nice and melty and you don't want to forget that because the butter helps make it nice and creamy thick and good just like you know caramel to be and so after we add our butter we're going to add our bourbon and vanilla which we already have mixed together Again, I use a uh, scotch actually, or a single malt whiskey that has little coffee undertones to it, which would be a really nice addition to our caramel. All right, so now we're going to use our melted butter and pour it right over our chocolate. This is going to help melt the chocolate. Whenever I make brownies, I prefer to use um, regular chocolate versus cocoa powder. Today we're doing a mix of both. I just feel like the regular chocolate adds a little extra flavor, plus that's where we get the fudginess from in our brownie. So I'm gonna just mix this up a little bit so that that way you can get nice and emulsified. You still see a little bit of chocolate chunks in there, which in this case will be all right because we're gonna kind of use that as if we added chocolate chips into our batter and it's all going to melt in the oven anyway, so we're good. So now I'm gonna add some sugar. I have both regular sugar and brown sugar. And then I'm gonna give that a quick little stir. And then I'm also going to add our egg. All right, so now the next step is to add our flour and cocoa powder. I'm gonna go ahead and just put my sifter right over this. In this bowl, I have some flour and my salt, and then I'm going to put my cocoa powder right on top. And I'm just gonna sift that in there, give that a good turnover. Just pour that little bit through. And then we're gonna give that a good stir. And then we're almost there. All right, so we have our mix ready and I have the pan that I prepared previously. I just have an aluminum pan that I put some parchment and grease so that that way when we take it out at the end, it'll be super easy. And so I'm just gonna use this little uh, bench scraper or spatula without the handle and then scoop all this stuff in here now again this batter is thick thick with two seeds so we're just going to make sure we press it in here 
and get it all in the corners. So we're just going to press this in here. Now, again, I'm using my little spatula without the stick. And that was kind of a bad idea because this is thick with two seeds, don't forget. So we're going to switch over to my little spoon and make sure I press that in all the corners. We have our caramel that we prepared earlier and we're just going to kind of, you can do whatever you like, drizzle it on, throw it on. I'm going to kind of go like this and just let it do what it feels like. I'm just going to kind of swirl this through. doesn't have to be perfect it can be whatever your heart desires and to top it off we're going to put a little bit of coarse sea salt just to sprinkle on top just to give it a little extra salt kick to our brownie but not enough to cause high blood pressure and hypertension all right so now let's go ahead and put this in the oven we're gonna have the oven already at 350 degrees. We're gonna put this in for about 30 minutes and then we're gonna check on it. So I'm just cutting mine into nine nice squares. And I'm using a little napkin and some hot water to wipe my knife off with, just because this brownie is very fudgy. And you wanna make sure you get that off of your knife. All right, so now I have my plate ready. I have a little bit of caramel sauce I'm gonna put here. Oops. Swirl. And then I'm going to put my corner piece. Let's put some little chocolate chips on top. Oops. Because we like those. And that's all we're going to do today because, you guys, I am ready to eat. Real simple, we have our bourbon salted caramel fudge brownies. You can see how chocolatey and fudgy and delicious they look. Oh my God. Thank you guys for watching. Again, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Um, I'll be coming out with more things that I wanna eat and I think you'll wanna eat too. So, thank you guys. Bye.